Sector's already been restored to the Alchemy Commission. Why are we here? I heard the Healer Lady is capable of curing all diseases. I'm here for the same reason anyone would be. For a checkup and consultation. Patience, young man. We're not far from Scale Gorge Waterscape. The mission the General tasked you with is about to come to an end. <gasps> Dunhung! What a surprise! Uh, are you not feeling well? Please, come this way! Uh, Miss Bailu... She's here for a consultation. Oh, I see! Are you here for your eyes? Or is it something else? My eyes are fine. I cover them to avoid seeing that which reminds me of the past and riles my inner demons. My thoughts have been disordered lately, and I experience occasional night terrors. Do you have a way to soothe my mind, Dragon Lady? Symptoms don't sound like my area of expertise. Bah, uh, who cares? The healers of the Alchemy Commission don't get to pick and choose their patients. Give me your hand. We'll start by checking your pulse. You'll need to take some translucent worms so I can take a closer look. Oh, your hand! It's freezing! Uh, please wait. Dunhung, can I speak to you for a minute? Uh, your friend here has a very peculiar condition. Her pulse is extremely faint. Normally, this would mean that she... She... won't live much longer. Healer make the professional diagnosis. Uh, your friend's situation is unique. She looks healthy, but her hands are cold as ice. It feels like there's a dark current running and pulsing between her core essay and her veins. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. With more research, I might be able to make a new entry in the medical records. Can you and your friend come back for follow-up visits? Today's her last day on the Lofu. Ah, what a shame. If she could stay for a few days, I might be able to figure out how to cure her. Ah, I'll do my best. No matter what I administer, She's gonna need to drink a ton of warm water from this point on. Come with me. I'll prescribe her some soul-returning vitality infusion. I won't cure her, but I'll... Wait! Where did my big medicine box go? I'm sorry. Ever since the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were expelled, things have been a mess around here. Tanhung, you mind coming with me to retrieve my medicine? I could use your skills. Are you in trouble, Dragon Lady? I'll come along as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> no trouble at all. <laughs> it's no bother. A little walk will do me good. Ah. Hmm. I can smell the herbs. It's around here. Hey! Give me back my medicine box! Ah, that thing runs so fast! Don't let it get away! Ah! There is an even bigger monster protecting this one! Ah! When did so many creatures start visiting the Alchemy Commission? Careful. Allow me to eliminate these obstacles, Dragon Lady. Stand back. The chill of my sword freezes everything in its path. <gasps> so this is why your hands are 
are so cold! To guard and defend! Crush them! Huh. Blade of Moonlight! That cold isn't something normal flesh could withstand! And the lunar flame! <sighs> Alright, let me make sure nothing's missing. Excellent! The calming valerian and chi-strengthening infusions are here! Let's head back. Never make a patient wait too long. Um, apologies again for the delay. This prescription won't cure you, but it will nourish your body and calm your mind. Very well. The fate of a long life species is inevitable, even with the best doctors. You're Mara struck? I don't see the symptoms in you at all. What with the incident on the Law Fu, I've treated a number of Mara stricken patients recently. They all presented with signs of incoherence, delirium, or frightening physical mutations. You don't seem to have any of that. I made a deal that allowed me to retain what life I had left in me. I may be sane, but one thing is certain. My mind is already at its limit. And yet, I still have many unfulfilled wishes, and plenty of unfinished business. I see. So you've learned to live with your illness. I can't help much with issues of the spirit, but the medical records do mention that calming the mind is a way to heal the body. If you're able to forget about the past, there might be a chance for your symptoms to regress. Really? How unfortunate. My hatred overshadows my other emotions. I chose to hold on to it, to embrace it, and to use it to maintain my existence. All I have left are the sword in my hand and my hatred of the past. If I am without either of them, I would fall into an empty void. Thank you for your advice, Dragon Lady. Meeting you has provided more healing than any kind of medicine or remedy. By the way, among those you've treated in recent days, did you notice a person in bandages? Bandages? That's a vague description, you know. I'm not sure. We get injured patients from all over the Xianzhou for treatment. And the number of injuries we see has skyrocketed since the Ambrosia Arbor crisis. The person I'm inquiring about is tall, with a serious expression. He also carries a crude sword with him at all times. Have you seen someone like that, Dragon Lady? Hmm... Oh, yes! Someone came by today that matches that description! He must have suffered some kind of sword wound. He had a strong scent of blood. Though, from the way he behaved, it must have been fairly minor. He didn't even take the medicine I prescribed. He's probably looking for a different kind of medicine. Well then, it would seem that everything is in place. Let's go meet our old friend.